As we started to do research in my Berkeley lab on compassion and love and touch and human voice and the vagus nerve, um, and I started to write this book, Born to be Good, um, I got interested in the deep scholarship about how do great thinkers think about compassion, right? And there is an East Asian tradition of compassion being a default setting of the mind, right? And, you know, people like the Dalai Lama and the Zen practitioners talk about the Buddha mind or the big mind that once you get rid of all the chatter in your head, you drop down into this feeling about the world that is compassionate. And that's very unusual for Western thought, um, which is interesting in its own right. And so as I started to do this research on compassion and writing this book, I started to read Darwin and his contemporaries. And, and I think that the, the really interesting thing is that um, Charles Darwin, uh, I discovered in The Descent of Man, um, and, and also in the biographies about Darwin, uh, was a really compassionate scientist. He was a devoted dad. And as Adam Gopnik has written about the great writer, um, Darwin had two kids die in his life, including Annie, who was his, this beloved daughter. And Annie got sick with what looks like tuberculosis. And Darwin's wife, Emma, was too upset to even face her, her death, right? And so Darwin, for a long time, nursed this girl into her death. Uh, and it really changed his life. And I think what came out of that is this deep appreciation of how powerful the sense of other suffering is and compassion. And in The Descent of Man, he writes, uh, sympathy is our strongest instinct for those communities with the most sympathetic members will flourish and raise the greatest number of offspring. And it's just really intuitive, right? If you're in a neighborhood and people are kind, that neighborhood's gonna be stronger, the kids are gonna do better, um, and you will, you will fare better. Um, but he would, Darwin was really unusual in this survival of the kindest hypothesis. And other scholars like Herbert Spencer translated Darwin and said, he's all about the survival of the fittest, to be ruthless and competitive and Machiavellian. Uh, and there's a lot of Western thought that believes that's who we are as a species. We're just nasty and really uh, selfish in a short-sighted way. And Darwin really saw it really differently. He felt like lots of strains of Buddhism that compassion is the strongest setting of, of the human mind.